And we begin with a store clerk attacked while attempting to confront an alleged thief. And the entire thing was caught on camera. The scuffle happening inside a Yukon hardware store. And now we're hearing from the clerk who tried to take down the hammer wielding crook. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale is on Crime Watch. The suspect came into this back storage room and grabbed four of these batteries, which are about $200 a piece, and tried to leave through this back door. But then he realized that it was locked, and that's when he went back to the front of the store, and the confrontation with the manager started. I'm not just going to let you walk out of here with $1,000 worth of product. What should McCall it tolls manager Ryan Johnson's reason for confronting the suspected thief. And you're stealing straight from our pocket. The brawl turning violent when the man threatened to hit Johnson with a hammer. It kind of surprised me, caught me off guard. Johnson says problems with the man date back to late January when he and another man allegedly stole several lithium batteries, costing nearly $200 each. And then uh, flash forward a couple weeks later, one of those guys came back in. He had gone through our back room where we keep our stock and inventory, and he tried stealing from there and going out the back door. Where the getaway car was parked. A uh, blue Nissan Pathfinder. But that back door was locked, and Johnson was waiting for the suspect at the front door. I just subdued him, and, uh, you know, I was looking for my phone because I was I had been trying to call the police. But once the suspect lifted the hammer, Johnson backed off. So I just said, hey, just go for it. And now police are on the hunt. We know at what lengths they're going to now, and we just want to make sure that they get caught. I'm not really too concerned about him coming back, but I'm more concerned about other people. In Yukon, Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. Now, that surveillance video might help, but right now, Yukon police tell us they don't have any leads as to who that accused thief might be.